Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Sushi Mushi, and today I'm gonna be making a tutorial for beginners on how to render Roblox characters. If you're new to my channel, there are tons of videos on how to teach you many different things when it comes to making GFX, so be sure to check it out. In a few days, I'll be making pretty much a second part to this video, which will be for editing. It'll go over all the basics and how to edit on a free software, so stay tuned for that too. If you find today's video helpful, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. It means a ton to me, and yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first step is to find a character you want to use for your GFX. I found this person, Denvoli, Dennis, whatever, and what you're going to do now is you're going to copy the character username, and then go to create on the top of your screen, and then at this point, you're going to open up a Roblox Studio workspace. You can use one you already have that you don't ever use, or you can make a new one. I'm going to use this one down here and click edit. It might take a few moments to open up depending on how fast your computer is, but once you're on it, it should look something like this. You're gonna need to find your toolbox, and if you don't have that, go to your view tab on the top of your screen, and then click toolbox right over here. And then select models and make it plugins instead. You're gonna search up for the load character plugin. Now there is a free version of this, do not get this one, it's 100 robux and you don't need it. Get the free version. Once you install that, go to your plugins tab up top here. Click load character, and then you're going to paste in the username you said earlier. Just like so. Now make sure you select spawn at origin and then spawn r6. Once you do that, the character will look kind of weird. It'll be half on top and then half below. So click on it over here in your explorer, which once again, if you don't have, go to view and then click explorer right over here. And then make sure you also have properties selected. And you're going to click on that, scroll down to transform, go to origin position, Click on it and make it 0, 3, 0, then click enter. So here's the character and now you're going to want to export it. You're going to go to your explorer and right click on the character, click export selection, and then you want to make a folder dedicated to all your exports. So I have one called exports and I'm going to name it the same character name, Denvoli, then just click save. Now you're going to duplicate this, so click control and D, click the arrow, select torso all the way up to head and then delete that. Now I like to rename it and add ACC, short for accessories. And then I'm gonna right click it, click export selection. And then on a separate folder called accessories, I'm gonna put this one in here. So Denvoli ACC, and then save. Those are your accessories which you need to import in separately on the program we're gonna use to render. At this point, you're pretty much done with Roblox Studio, so you can close it and we're gonna move on to a different program called Blender. Now I'm using Blender 3.2.1. This tutorial will also work on versions like 2.8 and higher. In the description, I'll leave a link to the download of Blender so you guys can get it. Okay, so once you're on Blender, you're gonna need something called a rig. A rig is gonna be what you're posing and putting your character's texture on, and you'll see it in a second. To get the paint rig, go to my description, click the link to Mediafire and download it from here. I promise you it's legit. Once you've downloaded it, go back to Blender. And you're going to click Control o or you can go to File and then Open. Go to your Downloads folder and find PaintRig.Blend. Then go ahead and open it. Your screen should look like this now. Your character is going to be purple, so what you need to do is change the texture. This workspace over here is called your Shader Editor. And in your Shader Editor, you want to go to this texture over here. Click this folder icon. And then you're going to go to your Exports folder and find the texture you needed. Here's mine. Click open image and here it is. Now clearly there's some work to do. First up, let's make it less shiny. You're gonna drag the roughness up and the specular down. You can mess with it however you want, but I like it like that. And then you can see the eyes looks 3D and sort of the close. So we're gonna go to the bump and drag down the strength. You can see a big difference when you drag it back up. So just drag it all the way down like that. Now you can drag this workspace up so you don't have to see it anymore. And now you have to learn the basic controls of Blender. So to move around, go ahead and select Shift in the tilde key. And then to move, it's W to go forward, S to go backward, A to go left, and D to go right. To go down, it's Q, and to go up, it's E. To go faster, you can hold Shift, and also if you scroll in your scroll wheel, it'll increase or decrease the speed. Now our character is involved, we need to add our accessories. Go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ. And earlier you made an accessories folder, I want you to go into it now and select Denvoli or whatever character you had, that obj. After doing that, click split by group and unselect split by object. Click import obj. And here it is. Now when I selected split by group, what that did was make it where I can select all these items individually. 
if I didn't do it, it would all be joined together and you don't want that quite yet. So if you look around, you're going to see some areas with the texture. It's kind of transparent and it looks odd. That's fine. We're going to fix it right now. Now to fix it, select this and then go to the right side of your screen and go to the texture property or material properties, my bad, right over here. And you're going to scroll down until you get to viewport display. Now scroll down a bit more and you're going to see show back face. I want you to disable that. And there you go. Now the texture is fixed and what we're going to do now is we're going to join all of these together. Right click, click join, and now it's all joined together. And then also right click again, set origin to geometry. Just like so. Your next step is to select the accessories and then click shift and select this square right over here. This is a rig part that controls your head movement. Go to the bottom left side of your screen where it says object mode and make it pose mode. Now click control P and do set parent to bone relative. Now when you move your rig, it'll also move your accessories with it. Now you need to start posing. There are tons of poses you could do, but in this tutorial I'll be teaching you one specifically. So watch me slowly and pause when you need to, and I'll explain every step. First up, I want to rotate the torso over here, and you just select rotate. Click the green and just drag it to the right like that. Now I'm going to move the red one back a bit. I'm going to select the head and just move it a bit like that, rotate it. Your main goal is to make it look not so stiff because clearly it's pretty stiff. I'm just gonna keep on adjusting things and rotating things until I think it looks better. And once again, it's really up to how you wanna do it, but yeah. You're gonna make lots of changes and it's okay, it's your first time making a GFX or if you're a beginner, so nothing looks perfect. I've been doing it for a while and I'm still not that great at it, so don't worry. Now it's important to work on angles because it makes a big difference in your GFX. Now we need to change up the legs because it's pretty plain and it's just standing there straight and boring. So select that. And the legs are a little bit different when it comes to posing. I'm going to move it like that to the left and then move up a bit to bend it. And then you can rotate it however you want to as well. Once again, your main goal is to make it look not so stiff, but also not ugly. All right, good job. You completed your posing. Now you have to work on your lighting. First, go to the right side of your screen again on this little bar over here and select the render properties. Where it says render engine, you're going to want to make that EV. Scroll down and make it film transparent. And then you're gonna go to the bottom right side of your screen where it says viewport shading right over here. Click on that. And this essentially shows you what it looks like once it's rendered. You can tell it's dark, which is why we have to work on our lighting. You can either use an HDRI for your lighting or you can make your own lights, which is what we'll be doing. If you do wanna use an HDRI, and if you don't know what that is, I have a video on it, so you can go ahead and find that right now. But like I said, we're making our own lights. So on the bottom left side of your screen, go to pose mode and make it object mode. So hold shift on your keyboard and then tap A, and then go to light and make it area. And move back and find where the light is, and here's the area light if you look closely in the orange selected item. You're going to move that back a bit, move it in front of the character I mean, and then rotate it to where that line is facing the character. It'll look something like this, which is fine, just keep on moving it back. And then you can also increase the size. So you can do that by selecting these corners and just making it bigger like that. And I would move it up a bit. Now there's not much lighting going on. So go to the right side of your screen to your lighting properties or object data properties. And then you just wanna drag the power to the right just like that to increase the brightness. I'm gonna move it around a bit until I find what I like and I'm gonna turn off shadows. Now that's not enough for me. So I wanna duplicate this and make another area light. I'm going to do that by doing control C, control V. I'm going to rotate it like that and then move it more. I'm going to keep on rotating it until I find a certain angle I like. Also, you can change the colors over here, make it whatever you want, but I wouldn't do that yet because when you get to your editing program, you can do much better things. I'm going to give it a slight pink tint, but also going to increase the size of it or brightness, just like so. And now it looks like this. Now you're really close to being done. We need to do one more thing, which is get a camera. So go to shift and then A once again, and then add camera. After you do that, you can either click zero on your numpad or you can go down here to view and then go to cameras, active camera. To move your camera, make sure you're selecting the orange and then move it like how you'd normally move around. Shift plus tilde key, W, A, S, D, Q, E. And find an angle you think looks good. You can also zoom in and just figure out what you think looks cool. And you can still make changes to the pose if you want to. I'm gonna do a few quick ones right now. Now, one more thing I'm gonna do is add another light and I'm gonna add a point light this time. So Shift A, 
and then pointlet. I'm gonna drag it in front of the fish. Just like that. And I'm gonna increase the radius and this will make the face pop out more and look better. Once again, when we start editing this in the next video, the lighting will look even better. At this point, you're pretty much done and your next step is to simply render. To render, go to the top of your screen and click render over here and then click render image and boom, it should take a few seconds. And there it is, you rendered your first GFX, good job. But before you do anything, wait, don't leave yet. Go to the top of your screen right over here click image and do save as and then pick a folder where you want to keep it in and i have one dedicated to renders already so i'm going to keep it in this folder and name it what you want i'll name it after him i forgot his username i think it was like denovi something like that i forgot and then make sure over here in your file format you have png rgba and yeah then save as image congrats you finished your render once again in a few days i'll be making a gfx editing tutorial for absolute beginners like you guys It'll be using a free program and you guys can make really nice GFX on there. So like I said earlier, stay tuned. Also, thank you guys so much for 90,000 views on this video. I never thought it would blow up, especially because it's not one of my good tutorials in my opinion. And I've made better ones. So once again, thank you so much. This video and the next video is pretty much an updated version of it. And yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments, leave a like and subscribe. Join my Discord server, follow me on Twitter. It means a lot to me, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.